Hatari sana karibu kwenye kipindi KUTV on the spot inakuwa ni Jumamosi nyingine maridadi ya kufanikisha kukupata kukupa wewe ufahamu kuhusiana na matukio ambayo yamefanyika. Imekuwa ni wiki ya ajabu wiki ambayo Lionel Messi amepachika bao lake la nane sawa na Cristiano kuvunja rekodi ama kuendeleza rekodi ya kuwa mchezaji wa kiume ambaye amesakata mechi nyingi sana za kimataifa mechi 183 zaidi ni kwamba kumekuwa na mechi za kirafiki na vitu vingi sana vimepangwa hapa tu ni kukukaribisha na kuhakikisha kwamba tunakuandalia kipindi mm -hmm. cha aina yake ama vipi Evans Ouma hivyo hivyo ndio hivyo umesema rekodi Hurricane Pierre is another player that have really break the record setting the all time English top scorer as far as international football is concerned. Of course, that and many more will be taking a look at those in our subsequent sports, of course, review as we take you through our highlights of the day. Ni raisi sana unachangia kwenye kipindi kwenye Twitter unatumia hashtag KUTV on the spot, target real pinches at KUTV Kenya alafu pia at au Evans inakuwa ni mari dadi sana hapo mm -hmm. au underscore Evans inakuwa ni mari dadi sana hapo uh, sawa pia na Facebook tuko live KUTV Kenya uh, unakisha kwa muna share una like uh, na unarusha comment yako hapo ndo tuweze kuchambua chambua maoni yako kusiana na haya matukio ambao ya mefanyika ndani ya wiki moja mamosi hakikisha kwamba unazungumza na sinajua watu wengi kama hakuna EPL hakuna zile ligi ambazo zinafuatiwa kwa sana watu wengi huwa funga funga macho kuhusiana na matukio ya international lakini kuna makubwa yanafanyika kuna Euro qualifier sawa na Afcon qualifier ambao najua zina kupa utamu na zinaratibiwa kuwa mechi kadhaa kusakatwa leo hakisha kwamba unachangia kuhusiana na hasa so pia na uchaguzi wa KRU election ambao ulipangwa kufanyika jana lakini ukufanyika pia kuna kikosi cha Harambe Stars ambao nataka tutakuwa tunaangazia kwenye uchambuzi uchambuzi sawa so pia na matukio uh, ya boxing pale India vitu ambazo tunakuwa tunaangazia angazia leo hamna kuongea ya Chelsea hamna ya Manchester sana Eh hey, japo jamaa amevaa blue <laughs> ni kama hakujua leo atuongee kuhusu the blues. <laughs> Evans lakini wiki yako imekuwaaje kwanza kabla mm. tuingie kwenye habari? Wiki yako general kisport imekuwaaje? Well, wiki yangu kisport nitasema imekuwa ni pengine eh, wiki ya hisia za mseto. Mm. Tumekuwa na timu ya taifa ya kinadada ya mchezo ya masumbwi yani boxing eh, kidogo matokeo yao haijako ya kuridhisha. Hamna ambaye mm -hmm. amebaki kwenye competition. Yeah, very. And uh, there is some allegations that uh, the referee was biased and many of them were uh, to some extent you know just shifting blame to referee but either way we are out and uh, at the end of the day we'll have to come back and put our house in order and hope that next time um, we'll try our best in that one. Then beside that, there is a lot of things that is really happening here. We have the postponed election that was supposed to be uh, carried out, but unfortunately it was pushed forward until the 29th of March. Yeah. Uh, it's just a couple of days. Yeah, the then, 28th actually. Yeah, and yeah. the house will be fully constituted now really? that there is a chairman. No. And um, he's just waiting for, you know, other members to help him run the affairs of rugby in the country. Mambo ya Harambe Stars ya kusikia ukitaja bana. Kuna kwenye mitandao wanasema oh umemwacha Oma Omala. Well for me it's unfortunate to see you know prolific top scorers like Benson Omala being you know left out of the squad and this is a player that have really you know prove his worth to the team the way he's scoring goals everything and uh, it's a shame to see such talent you know now going to waste basically but i hope uh, in the coming future and of course in the coming games he'll really you know at least remend that decision because this is a top scorer would you, you prefer me. omala to be in the squad but not play ama omala to vileiko ama akwe kwenye kikosi na achezi i think 
I would want him to be in the school and play. No, not to warm the bench. Kwa sababu unaweza bebwa na ucheze. No, but the decision to leave him uh, to leave him out of the you know traveling school. Ni chungu kushinda wakati yuko alafu akose kucheza. Yeah, it's very hard. You see very to own. When you go head to head, look at Elvis Rupia and Benson Omalo. Of course they play in the Kenya Premier League. Both of them, yeah, they are top scorers in their own right, yeah. but Benson and Mala have really, you know, proven to be um, a poacher and a killer attacker in terms of goals. The way he scores, the way he positions himself in, t- uh, in front of goals, this shows that any coach that um, really wants to get out something out of the squad, this is the guy to go after. But we have Olunga, mm-hmm. but I think Benson Omala would have been a good additional to this Arambe Stars squad. Kuna rafiki yangu kwenye Twitter anaitwa Evans kama wewe. Nastaki kusema ni muhuni lakini huyu. Huwa msamehei kocha wa Arambe Stars. Engine Ferrat. Anamchokoza amesema yeye acha quote and quote. Plamba. But Benson huwa chelewi huyu bana. I wonder I may Ali Twitter with the plumber has never won match mm-hmm. and you ex- expect him to win an away fixture with a team which was in the World Cup plumber well I, I think he has won he won against uh, Rwanda and um, that was a good performance actually before Kenya got um, Kenya was suspended of course uh, this one yes Iran is a very top team a team that has been playing in the World Cup I think for the last um, six competitions so this is a quality team and of course the decision to play Iran is quite amazing uh, this is the litmus paper for Firat and uh, any outcome should he win now this is the right trajectory towards a good performance in the future the team has high ambitions they want to qualify of course to play the World Cup Uh, in the next competition and this is a good start you know when you want to become the best you learn from the very best and this is good Masaba the team want to qualify for the world cup <laughs> <laughs> it's possible it's possible <laughs> i know it's uh, for some it's just like a, you know a big kind of uh, dream for kenya and some might say a joke but i believe if you want uh, this is the baby steps and this is what we need <laughs> it is a good one mm. yeah so firat will support him as our national coach and we really wish all the best for our boys as even they you know make their dream uh, come to reality and uh, another thing that uh, will be of interesting we have the enterprise cup haya rugby kweli leo haya ilikuwa postponed last weekend kwa sababu kulikuwa na zile trials za Kenya Simba's pale RFUA eh na kweli itakuwa ni mechi kadhaa japo hakuna ule utamu sana mm-hmm. mambo yamepungua pungua lakini tusubiri subiri tuone nani ambaye ataweza fika kwenye nusu finali uh, iwapo tuko sawa mwelekezi wangu Ryan Ngure twende kwenye hizi habari alafu nachukua pia hii fursa pia kusema angalia whatsapp yako <laughs> eh, utanisaidia sana hapo Haya ndio hizi habari ambazo tumekupangia ama ambazo tumekuandalia Jumamosi hii ambao kwa nini mari dadi kwa na kijibaridi baridi lakini sisi si tuko hapa KUTV on the spot kukupa joto kimichezo ndio hii habari ya kwanza kuhusiana na uchaguzi wa KRU election last minute effort between KRU and sports registrar uh, wasike to have the KRU election take place as scheduled despite the registrar obtaining a high court order to stop the election failed over technicality while addressing <coughs> while addressing the media at the same time through what they had agreed and vacated the order the process was to be done at the high court against uh, but uh, Odur Gagla that is the Kenya rugby rugby chairman union had said that the plan to file an application on Monday with the uh, acting uh, general meeting for the members and election now set for the Wednesday at the RFUEA grounds the move to have the election next week is driven by the fact that the current board term end on March 31st
Right now, from rugby to football, the national team Harambe Stars has stepped up their preparation ahead of their friendly match against Iran in Tehran on March 28th. And as head coach, Eden Firant unveiled the final 22-man squad. The tough tactician, uh, Turkish tactician removed 11 players from the original 34-man provisional squad and headlining the list of those who will be missing uh, the flight to Tehran is Kenyan Premier League top scorer Benson Nomala of Gormahia. The experienced trial of Michael Olunga of Al Dahil, that is in Qatar, Alfred Shraven of Al Hood, Norway, and Elvis Rupi of Kenya Police will lead the attack for the Arambe Stars. Patrick Matasi of Kenya Police will be the first choice goalkeeper, while midfielder Kenneth Muguno Vazam and Teddy Akumu of Sagan Tosu were also called up. Right, let's switch uh, focus to boxing action. The Kenya boxers display this small showing at the ongoing Women's World Boxing Championship in New Delhi, India, after all the 11 country representatives crash out of the competition. The last to be eliminated was Captain Elizabeth and Diego, who lost her light, light heavyweight bout against Kazakhstan's light heavyweight champion, Fariza Shortley. For Commonwealth bronze medalist Christian Ongare was also eliminated after being defeated by Turkey's Erivan Barut. All right, from rugby and now to, okay, from boxing now to rugby. The Kenya Cup champions and the defending enterprise champions Cabra Sugar ARC are set to host Kenya Harlequins in a scheduled enterprise round of 16 fixtures set to be host at the Kakamega Showgrounds. Meanwhile, Homeboys RFC will host Menengai Oilers at the Jamuhuri ASK Grounds. Black Blood will tackle Catholic Monks at the Blood Bin. At the Impala Sports Club, Impala will play Min Machine from 4 p.m. with an early kick of a women friendly set for 1 p.m. between Impala, Rowans, and Uganda Black Pals. Star, the starts of uh, Leos will host Kenya, Kenya Cup, that is Chipo at the Madaraka Grounds. Fantastic. Now from Rugby Enterprise uh, Cup, and just be in, in case you are around Kenyatta University, you can go and enjoy some Enterprise Cup uh, between 
Black Blood and Catholic Monks. I think they also have another match that is in the, uh, the Mwamba, Mwamba Cup because we're also having Mwamba Cup matches, uh, Black Blood, Kabarak University. So plenty of rugby action uh, for you to enjoy, uh, whether you are at the Blood Bean, Ruaraka, whether it's Impala Club, or even in Kakamega, to international football. Simon Msuva, 68th minute strike, was enough to give Tanzania Taifa Stars a one-in win in the Group F Afcon qualifier. And well, this marked the beginning of a good run for the new tactician that is Adele Ambroche. Meanwhile, the defending champions, the defending Afcon champions, dismantled Mozambique five 0 at the Algeria as Algeria went down to Guinea in in Mamasaku Sam Blade scoring that particular goal. Guinea secured a 2 0 win over Ethiopia in Conakry as Mo Salah inspired Egypt to a 2 0 win over Malawi at the 30 June Stadium. In Europe, Kylian Mbappe scored his first goal as a France captain as the World Cup finalist kicked off uh, the Euro 2024 qualifier campaign with a 4 0 win over Netherlands. Antonio Griezmann opened the scoring with a day out of Umpamicano on the Euros with another with another day out, adding the second goal that is Mbappe squaring a brace in that particular fixture. Right, Manchester United uh, bidder Thomas uh, Thomas Zilikas insist a tree of owners is the best way forward for the club. The Finnish entrepreneur has tabled a bid of his own, but would prefer to link up with Sheikh Jasmine and Sir Jim Ratcliffe in a three-way push for the club. Sheikh Jasmine bin Hamed Al Thani, the chairman of the Qatar Islamic Bank and the Rat Ratcliffe, the founder of the chemicals giant Ineos, are the first two bidders who have gone public with their intentions. A first round of bidding took place last month and it has been reported uh, there are as many as eight separate potential investors for the club owned by the American uh, Glazer family who are deeply unpopular with the United supporters. No figures have been revealed, but one of the initial bid was understood to be in the region of 4.5 billion, that is 5.5 billion US dollars, that will make Manchester United, who have not won the Premier League for a decade, the most expensive club in history. Although it would be short of the 6 billion euros valuation reportedly placed, uh, reportedly placed by United uh, by the Glazers. Well, you can tell that story was written by a Chelsea fan. <laughs> because, underline, that would make Manchester United, who have not won the Premier League for a decade. <laughs> It's true. It's the true. most expensive sports club in history. <laughs> it's you true. wonder, was it necessary? <laughs> <But> <laughs> the last time we wore it was in 2013, and now no, we are but, in 2023. But we are talking money. Most expensive was it money with here? no trophy to show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ni vile ni news. Nilikuwa karibu ni zeme. Oh, was it necessary? <laughs> Higher to Bayern Munich now. And uh, Bayern Munich... Um, Thomas Tuko has been confirmed as new manager of Bayern Munich as the ex-Chelsea boss takes over from the axed Julian Nagelsmann. 
The German giant Bayern confirmed the news with a statement on social media. Former Blues boss Thomas Tuchel has signed a deal up until the summer of 2025 after Nels, uh, Nagelsmann contract, which was due until 2026, was terminated by the club bosses. Tuchel will mm -hmm. supervise training for the first time on Monday as Bayern uh, thank Nagelsmann and his coaching staff. Anasema nyama ya mwingine sumu Nyama yako ni sumu kwa mwingine Tuko ni sumu kwa Chelsea Nyama kwa Bayern Aliyefutwa Ni bahati Chelsea wanamkufunzi Wangemezea mate pia huyo Wanatabia za kumeza meza mate Hawajui sumu, hawajui nyama Wanameza sumu, wakifikiria nyama mm. <laughs> Wakati wanaitaji kumeza sumu Wanameza nyama But we go for the best the best, the best that is. can't win anything. <laughs> we have oh, won, yeah. remember. We are talking about <laughs> your history. Uh, the most expensive club, allegedly, that is if the deal materializes. But no, no trophy to show for. But even now, mm -hmm. even before the deal, mm -hmm. which is the most valuable club? Um, that will be Manchester City. No, someone should Google for this guy. The great Manchester United is the <laughs> most valuable. But according to Deloitte, according, according to, to Forbes, <laughs> according not just one person. That's according to you. <laughs> no, no, no. By the fact for fact, mm -hmm. Manchester is the most valuable club in EPL. Who value? Who values Manchester United? Anyway, and then the fans. <laughs> Asid wezi shida na ee mahali pa moja. You have to move on to something else. Kwa yeso wali lasi kwa question of the day. Ni kusiana mm -hmm. na maso lamba wa metokea. Uh, kusiana na harambe stars. Kikosi ambacho kimetajwa. Kitakuwa kina safiri tehreni. Kumenyana na Iran. Uh, kumbuka kwa mba Kenya iliratibiwa mapema. Kumenyana na Indonesia. Lakini kwa mba mambo ya venu ikabadilishwa badilishwa. Ha, ili ratibiwa siku menyana Burundi. Indonesia ili ratibiwa kuenda kumenyania mm. Indonesia na Burundi mm -hmm. mabadiliko mengi ah, Burundi wakasema sime na mkono Iran akatokea sasa ndio mechi ya kirafiki ya kwanza ya Kenya tangia tureje ama ile marufuku ya FIFA iondolewe i na kikosi kimetajwa na Engine Firat Bernard Omala top scorer mm. wa Kenya Premier League is missing Sasa kwenye swali la siku tunauliza tu rahisi what's your take on Harambe Stars squad for Iran's friendly tuambie tu tusikie tu, labda watu ndio wanapiga kelele kuhusu Omala wengine labda wa, maoni yao wamefurahi kwamba Brian Mandela yuko kwenye kikosi sawa Patrick Matasi Olunga amerejea sijui unasemaje kuhusiana na hiki kikosi cha Harambe Stars ahead of Iran's friendly unachangia kwenye SMS 0739 Moja moja sufuri tano nene 0739 Sawa pia kwenye Twitter Tuko hashtag KUTV on the spot At au underscore Evans At real pinches at KUTV Kenya eh, Pia kuna KUTV underscore Kenya zote zetu Sawa pia kwenye Facebook tuko live KUTV Kenya Hakisha kwamba unachangia changia mm -hmm. eh, Tusikie sasa Unasemaji Alright Remember our question of the day is what is your take on the new squad, the 22-month squad that uh, Arambe Stars head coach Indian Firant has just, you know, mentioned. Do you support the changes that he has made or you have a different say? Of course, keep on talking to us on all of our social media platforms. Remember on Facebook at KUTV Kenya, on Twitter at KUTV underscore Kenya. The hashtag to use is always on the spot.
Hello everyone, this is the new chapter of Let's Be Fit. I'll be host DiCaplo. I'm here to give you various workouts. I'll be having different trainers. Uh, we'll have Zumba classes, we'll have aerobics classes, we'll have uh, box exercise, we'll have cutter box. Just the show comes every Thursday from 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Keep it locked, make sure we keep fit. And that's it from me to you. Let's be fit. Leo tunakufunza kwa kuonesha jinsi ya kuandaa mabuyu hapa Talent Junior Academy. Unachukua kikomo mmoja cha mabuyu na unaingiza kwa sufuria. Beka makari. Unaweza mtoto kumfanyia kila kitu. Naam. Unawezekana anakuwa lakini haelewi. Naam. Alafu hapo sasa masomo yatakuwa hayana maana kabisa. Technology, science, innovation, ICT and research. These are the ingredients upon which the solutions to the 21st century problems are founded. In a world that is rapidly changing, it's all hands on deck to ensure a balance in all fields of life. Women, young and old, are also in the front line, breaking the glass ceiling, becoming thought leaders in the larger tech space. Not forgetting other societies marginalized. And when the tech avengers come together, we inch closer to a much safer, efficient, and sustainable world. What we view as a norm in today's advanced world was just an idea. And for nostalgic reasons, we trace back the iconic days to bring you the retro tech. On Tech Innovation Show, we encapsulate all the pillars of the fourth industrial revolution, decoded in a language, all for one, one for all. Every Monday at 8.30 as we push the mantra, keep learning something new each and every day. Only on KUTV, a new experience. What's up, fashionistas? Looking for a show that brings you the latest in the world of fashion, glamour, creativity, and style? Fashion Diaries got you sorted as we explore street fashion, modeling, runways, red carpet events, and so much more. Catch me, Ashley Asachi, as we unlock the greatest fashion event. Keep it locked. Focus on Health is a show that creates awareness on matters health and informs you on various diseases, their causes, treatment, prevention, coping and support. So join me, Bwari Michelle, every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. only on KUTV. You can also follow us on our social media platforms at KUTV Focus on Health on Facebook and also on YouTube and Health Focus on, on Instagram because your health is your wealth. Stay safe and stay healthy. <music> This Sunday from 9 a.m., we join Kenyatta University for an interfaith Thanksgiving church in prayer service as Dr. Super Moesi, Director LNG, White Branch Office, Adventist University of Africa, will be speaking on the theme, The Lord is Our Banner, Exodus 17, verse 5, and Sheikh Ibrahim Lithome will be speaking on the theme, And Thy Lord is Most Forgiving, Full of Mercy, Quran 18, verse 58, live from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. on KU-TV. Access to knowledge. Solution to unanswered questions.
possessing your property, intellectual or material. This and more only on the law matter. Na mkuta ubao andiku ina mka, tumerejea kwa sababu tukona choka. <laughs> usani si usani. <laughs> Karibu tena kwenye kipindi cha KUTV on the spot. Peter Pinches na Evan Soumo wanakisha kwa mbona kupa raha raha ya aina yake kwa sababu sisi ndio papa na nyangumi. Tunatamba na kutaratamba. Tuna nguvu za nguva. Kachumbari. Mindi onyanya. Ini kitunguzi. Una sikia vitu wanasemanga. <laughs> Hazifurahishi watu. <laughs> Lakini ukichanganya unapata kachumbari ya aina yake. Na furahi sana kwa wote ambao wanazidi kutegetegea na kufuatia kipindi wako kweli wanatupa tupa arafa. Asante sana zidini kufuatia fuatia. E, hapa tutakisha kwamba tunakuandalia mm-hmm. mautamu juu ya mautamu. Bwana Ouma Mm-hmm. Na kuona unapekuwa peku unaangalia mambo ya mekuaji hapo kwenye AFCON qualifiers mm-hmm. Ambo ndio kitu cha kwanza ambacho nataka tuangazie Kwa dakika tu za kuhesabu kusiana na mechi za AFCON qualifiers ilikuaje uh, Kikubwa ni kwamba Nigeria mm-hmm. alipigwa na gini bisau Japo Nigeria ako na washambulizi ambao wanafanya vizuri sana bara ulaya yeah. Unafikiri kwanza huyu Nigeria ni kumbuka alikosa kombe la dunia Akiwa tunao masta ameanza saka saka zake za nafasi ya Afcon vibaya mm-hmm. alipoteza pia Afcon mapema kwenye pale Cameroon huu Nigeria ni kelele tu tunasema ni mkali lakini labda ni mm-hmm. hana ukali wa kushinda mataji na kufanya vizuri Nigeria is a good team to begin from actually they are right now the one of the most uh, prolific strikers in, in Europe right now that is Victor Osime from Napoli is from Nigeria, of course. But the chemistry between the players and, um, you know, how to organize the team, that is something that is lacking in the Nigerian squad. No wonder they have been displaying some of dismissal performance, if some might call that one. Uh, you see they have uh, quality players. We have the likes of um, uh, Victor Osime. We have uh, Iwobi in the squad. They, they have a quality players, if you ask me. But the performance is something that is really worrying most of even fans no. and um, even the football uh, pundits because many are raving about this Nigeria team. What really happened? What is the Nigeria of the 2018? You remember their performance in the World Cup when they are playing against the likes of uh, South Korea? No. Uh, this is a team that really showed their caliber as one of the most dominant team in Africa as far as soccer is concerned. Najua kuna mtu wanasema hai nyinyi kweni mnafikiria Guinea Bissau si wakali. Kikosi cha Nigeria kina kipa mzoefu uzoho. Lakini kitu kutoka midfield Chukweza, Mkali, Iwobi, Dindi, Lukman, Ihianacho, Osimhen alafu bado ai hii Nigeria ukilinganisha na Guinea Bissau mm-hmm. lakini wanasema kwamba makubwa hufanyika tu hata ukitisha utishie wapi mechi nyingine ambazo pia zilisakatwa ni Uganda dhidi ya Tanzania 
eh, Tanzania akimpiga Uganda bao moja bila jibu mm -hmm. eh, mechi ambayo Uganda alikuwa mwenyeji lakini alikuwa anasakatia Tanzania <laughs> <laughs> masaibu eh, kwa sababu hana uwanja ambao umefika viwango vya kuandaa mechi mm -hmm. za kaf hata mm -hmm. Kenya safari ni hiyo hiyo kama tungekuwa kaf yeah and actually uh, that's really you know mm. uh, it's paint a picture a bad picture of african so football uganda alipigwa bao moja bao la msuva ilikuwa hatari sana simon msuva dr congo dhidi ya mauritania ikaisha 3-1 uh, algeria kampiga nijar kwa mawili kwa moja gabon akapata ushindi dhidi ya sudan ingine ambao pili ni furaisha na ambao ili ni paraha ni Congo Brazza vile akiwa nyumbani mm -hmm. akipigwa na South Sudan mawili kwa moja. Tazamaji <coughs> ni vizuri kwamba ukumbuke South Sudan is one of the youngest nation not just in Africa but in the mm -hmm. world. Yeah. Lakini wanafanya makubwa kwa basketball na sasa wameanza kufanya makubwa kwenye football. Mm -hmm. Sisi tukiwa tu. Well Tuto tunaelekea mahali watani sema sisi tunaelekea wapi tunaelekea mahali wapi eh round hii round hii <laughs> safari naona ninaona ninaona moshi eh. samwe ya pale Ula lakini moshi. si moshi naona Kenya moshi but si moshi tunaona moshi tu moshi mm. but hatufikii hiyo moshi <laughs> tunafika mahali tunafika mahali eh. eh, mm. lakini pia it will be good to see mm. east african teams ziki qualify kwenye afcon and actually i was i was really amazed with tanzania you know when you look at the east africa actually Alafu uganda actually it's the best team as far as in our in East Africa rankings in ranking yeah. of course even in performance they have you know they participated in the uh, African Cup of Nation at a time when Kenya was not in that competition at the same time Uganda so uh, for Uganda Tanzania Uganda pia ukumbuke amemuandika kazi kocha ambaye mlimfuta mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Adel Amruch alifutwa hapa atiawezi <laughs> Tanzania wamemchukua huyu ambaye mlisema hawezi wamempa mm -hmm. kazi amepiga ushindi kwenye mechi yake ya mm. kwanza lakini naona hii itakuwa ni kupaka Tanzania mafuta mapema wacha kwanza tuone kama ta qualify lakini ushindi ushindi tuanze kuongelea lakini si ameshinda mbona tusimsifu eh. ameshinda for now tunakubali lakini Ameshinda. bado safari bas mm. safari ipo yaliyo mbele wachana nayo <laughs> eh ako karibu tu ndio tunaangazia Ghana akampiga mm. Angola 1-0 Uh, story mm. ambayo imekuwa kwenye mitandao mm -hmm. ni kwamba daktari wa tiba maungo wa mm -hmm. Arsenal mm -hmm. alilazimika kusafiri na Thomas Party <laughs> kwenye kambi ya ya Ghana mm. ili kuhakikisha Party hajarejea na jeraha <laughs> uh, that tells how Superstar you gani know, uh, actually, uh, the, you know for Arsenal they want to win the league so they must protect every valuable players oh, uh, and Lakini Thomas Partey is one of them scenario we Evans mm -hmm. ndio daktari wa tiba maungo wa Ghana mm -hmm. you are certified federation imepiga muhuri you are the team doctor of Ghana mm -hmm. alafu jamaa ametoka huko Ulaya ati amekuja sasa kusaidia ati huyu jamaa tukimtuma huko na kuja na injury what does it say about you <laughs> But I think for the for the Ghanaian <laughs> Football Federation I think they took it in a good faith. But I that, believe so. Mimi ningekuwa rais wa Ghana Football Federation, huo mm -hmm. daktari ange kanyanga training. Mm -hmm. Go back. <laughs> Kama uko na maoni tutumie, to review, to compare. <laughs> <laughs> What about uh, some of the requests that uh, English teams of course um, I remember there is a time was it Liverpool uh, uh, they send a special request to Egypt about Mohamed Salah it, it, it's normal it's normal No but it's not supposed to happen when everything Country is comes at over hakuna mambo ya vilabu ikifika ni international break mm -hmm. nenda kwenu mm -hmm. nenda kahudumia watu wa kwenu football international football japo haina hela na nini mm -hmm. inafai kuja ya kwanza kwa sababu hakuna kitu ki, mtu anajivunia. Uliyomuona Messi, ah, natamani tungekuwa na video ya Argentina. Messi alisema, unajua mimi bana mzaliwa wa Argentina kwa hivyo naelewa ile lugha. <laughs> alisema quote and quote. Mm. Daima maishani mm. alitamani kwamba siku moja atarejea nyumbani kwao kusherekea na watu wa nyumbani kwao. I think hakuna kitu wewe inafurahisha mtu mm. kama when you hata utasikiza wachezaji wakisema they would prefer kushinda kombe la dunia na timu ya taifa kushinda kushinda hata Champions League kwa sababu inaleta so much greatness una feel yani mm -hmm. finally kwa sababu hata hiyo Liverpool utacheza mm -hmm. mwisho mwisho utarudi wapi nyumbani as 
lakini si kuchezea timu ya taifa. Haina maana lakini utarudi wapi? Utaishi hapo Masi sasa. Utarudi nyumbani na pesa. Hakuna <laughs> <laughs> transfer ya kutoka Egypt hadi Kenya, Kenya kwenda mm. Uganda. Lakini mm. transfer ya Liverpool AC Milan, haisi. But the uh, party issue I think many of people are overblowing it out of proportion. Uh, overblow, like it's normal. You protect your most valuable player. Najua kwamba Arsenal ndio wako na hiyo nia ya lakini mimi niliona si picha nzuri hasa kwa soka ya Afrika. Kwa hivyo unataka kusema kwa sababu injury ya party inaweza kuwa si contributed na team doctor ati kwamba hampatia attention. Huenda iko contributed na the playing tough. Sasa Arsenal basi si mtutumie stadium basi za kwenye party atakuwa kichezea muende mtengeneze hizo stadium basi kama mtaki jeraha. Juu mara nyingi huwa mm. soka ya international football the reason sometimes watu is support ni kwa sababu zile ground ambazo unaenda kuchezea sometimes hajafika standards za zile grounds ambazo ambazo umezoea na ground hukua inatoa mchango mkubwa sana katika mm. majeraha for these professional footballers. Mm-hmm. Alafu pia uwezi jua, labda party ana tudanganya miaka. So, <laughs> kija Afrika narudi default setting. Acha. Aya, tuangalie fixtures za leo ambazo tuogole. Eh, default watu. Tuanze na fixtures za leo za mm-hmm. Afcon ambazo tutakuwa tunatarajia. E, kuna mechi kweli babu kubwa ambazo zitakuwa zinafanyika leo sawa pia na kesho. Mm-hmm. I think pia kutakuwa na mechi ya kirafiki kati ya Morocco na Brazil ni kesho. Mm-hmm. E, nadhani kesho. Haya, Lesotho dhidi ya Zambia ndio mechi ambayo inaanza saa kumi leo. Hii ni mechi ya leo ama ni ya kesho? Ya kesho Hii ni ya kesho. Yeah. E, mechi, mechi ya kesho. Sakato, kesho. E, Sao Tome Principe sawa pia na Sierra Leone ambao pia ni mechi ya kesho. Alafu Jumatatu kutakuwa na Rwanda dhidi ya Benin. Mm-hmm. Na mkondo wa kwanza Benin alimpiga Rwanda 1-0. Mm-hmm. Eh, South Sudan atakuwa na menyana na Congo. Sijui kama upande wako pia umewapata umepata hizi ratba. Ah, kesho tuko na bado kuna mechi ya marudio. Naam. Naona hivyo Tanzania atakuwa anacheza na Uganda Dar es Salaam bado. Naam. Alafu tutakuwa na Sudan akicheza na Gabon then uh, tuko na nani mwingine hapa Liberia na Afrika Kusini na mm. mm. mechi ambazo zitakasakatwa kesho zote hizo ndio afco ambazo tunatarajia mm. eh, kibao Senegal pia limpiga mtu bana mabao matano kwa moja mm. eh, Mozambique achezi na yeye ndani pia watakuwa na rudiana mara nyingi watu ni mechi ambazo zimecheza mkondo wa kwanza mm. na rudiana hii wiki nyingine Guinea Bissau Nigeria ni mechi ya tarehe 27 machi Angola Ghana tarehe 27 machi Niger Algeria 27 Ethiopia Guinea tarehe 27 uh, Sudan Gabon tarehe 27 alafu Eswatini Cape Verde itakuwa ni tarehe 28 ndio hizi ratiba ambazo unazitazama kwenye runinga yako sasa mm. eh, South Sudan akuwa anamkaribisha Kongo tarehe 27 sawa so na Rwanda Benin Angola Ghana Mozambique ambaye alipigwa matano kwa moja na Senegal bingwa mtetezi wa Afcon akuwa anamkaribisha uh, Senegal uh, tarehe 28 alafu Namibia ambaye alitoka Sare na Cameroon watakuwa na menyana na Cameroon uh, Cameroon ndio kuna menyana na Namibia tarehe 28. Mm. Eh. Nimekuwa nikiangalia the performance of the big teams no. in Africa. When you look at the Ghana, their statement 3-0 against Madagascar. When you go to Tunisia, 4-0 against Equatorial Guinea. Then we have the likes of Cote d'Ivoire 3-1 against uh, Zambia. Then another big team, arguably that is Senegal 5-1. Mm. Uh, ukitaja <laughs> ukitaja Cote d'Ivoire jamaa <laughs> uh-huh. anaitwa Sebastian Hala uh-huh. ambaye mapema na nani miaka miwili hivi alitangaza kwamba anauguza saratani uh-huh. e, ya uzazi alafu sasa hii yuko sawa amerejea kusakata uh-huh. na amefunga bao ya Cote d'Ivoire uh-huh. na anafanya vizuri pia Borussia Dortmund uh-huh. hizi ni habari ambazo kweli huwa zinakufanya unapenda michezo right. haya tuko sawa na ratiba ya Afcon haya kwenye euro pia E, tuangazie matukio ya euro ambayo yamefanyika kweli e, timu ya undercover na timu yangu ambayo nashabikia e, sana e, ilipigwa na England we will never hear the end of this 2-1 Italia e, alafu leo kuna ratiba nataka kwanza tuangazie hii ratiba ya mechi ambazo tunatarajia zisakatwe leo sawa pia na kesho A, kuna Scotland dhidi ya Cyprus ni tarehe 25 Croatia Wales e, yuko pia Israel Kosovo ambao ni mechi ya leo 
Armenia wacheze na Uturuki mechi ya leo. Belarus watakuwa wenyeji wa Switzerland mechi ya leo saa mbili. Spain dhidi ya Norway ambayo haitakuwa na huduma za hala na baya na jeraha ni mechi ya leo saa 4 dakika 45. Croatia mechi nzuri dhidi ya Wales leo pia saa 4 45. Alafu Andorra dhidi ya majirani Romania e, mechi nyingine pia kusaka tiketi ya kushiriki Euro awamu ya mwaka 2024 Kazakhstan na Denmark watakuwa na sakata kesho saa kumi. England akuwa na cheza na Ukraine kesho saa moja. Uh, Liechtenstein akuwa na mkaribisha Iceland e, saa moja kesho Slovenia akuwa na cheza na San Marino saa moja. Slovakia Bosnia watakuwa na menyana kesho saa tatu dakika tano. mechi nyingine pia kesho ni Northern Ireland dhidi ya Finland saa tatu dakika tano. Luxembourg akuwa na mkaribisha Ureno ya Cristiano mm. eh, kesho saa t- saa tatu dakika tano. alafu mechi nyingine pia kesho ni Malta dhidi ya Italia Malta kesho atakipata pata right. kunywa uh, kama Malta When you look at uh, the groups we have from group A all the way to group J and of course it is two teams each that are expected uh, to at least qualify to the ra- first round then we have the likes of uh, first group we have Spain then Scotland Norway and uh, Georgia and Cyprus in group A uh, obviously uh, Spain there most likely Uh, the most the team to watch out in that particular uh, group then we have the Netherlands France Republic of Ireland Greece and um, Gibraltar ah. that is in group B umesema <laughs> Netherlands nikashangaa kwa ni Netherlands wanaongoza but actually this is the team to watch especially in, the, uh, Nether- in this group this the is team group to watch. B Netherlands and France despite the pretty obvious they were beaten of course for nil but this is a team to watch lakini mm, euro euro bana uwe unajua ni group za team tano <laughs> by the time game ziisha unakuwa hata uh-huh. umesahau nani ndio wako wapi yeah. nani ndio wako wapi then we have the likes of england that is england italy ukraine mm-hmm. then north macedonia Sim, and malta unze huyo north macedonia mm-hmm. alifuzu wa euro iliyopita kimchezo mm-hmm. eh, then we have one of the country ambao haina professional league lakini anafanya vizuri bahatisha yeah so this group c is another a tough one if you ask me uh, at least three teams there yeah. actually it's four teams because even ukraine is not um, you know hapa uh, weka bingwa mtetezi mm-hmm. italia mm-hmm. uingereza angine wajue <laughs> what they can do with their life uh, then we have uh, group d croatia wales armenia turkey and latvia that is in group d and um, group e we have poland uh, republic of czech then we have albania uh, we have moldova there mm-hmm. that is in group uh, kikundi ambacho group, czech republic anaongoza na alama tatu faro yeah. island nafasi ya pili na alama moja alitoka sare na Moldova ambaye pia nafasi ya tatu Albania Poland eh, Poland alipigwa na Czech Republic mm-hmm. Albania bado mm-hmm. hana alama hajasakata yani mechi and we have group F Belgium Austria then Sweden Azerbaijan and Estonia of course they are um, Austria it's a light naongoza. one it's a light one Austria naongoza Belgium nafasi ya pili sijui mbona unasema light one <laughs> the light one. Sweden ya Zlatan Ibrahimovic <laughs> alipigwa mat- na hatrick alipigwa na hatrick ya Romelu Lukaku mm-hmm. eh alitemwa na Chelsea <laughs> but anafanya makubwa Romelu Lukaku yeah, international is good <laughs> bowling goal because because goals Chelsea wamesema bana <laughs> Kumuuza ni hasara lakini hawana budi. Na Manu alisema nini? Unajua kwanza alianzia hapo. Alikuwa Manu? Yeah. No, but alianza kuoza Manu. No, alianza Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea wakashindwa naye akaenda Everton akafanya vizuri. Manu kamtaka. Of course Manu has to take anything good. Aya <laughs> <laughs> twende group G. Mm-hmm. Serbia wanaongoza alama tatu Montenegro wako nafasi ya pili, Hungary mm-hmm. nafasi ya tatu. Bulgaria, Lithuania. Hii group inakaa vita tu. Inakaa <laughs> Hungary, Bulgaria, <laughs> Serbia. Ah, <laughs> uh, group H. Denmark, Northern Ireland, Slovenia, Kazakhstan, Finland, San Marino. In that order ndio jedwali lipo. Mhm. Eh, uh, alafu tuko wapi? 
grupa I. I. We mm. have uh, Andorra naongoza, mm-hmm. Belarus nafasi ya pili, Muisraeli nafasi ya tatu, Kosovo nafasi ya nne, Romania nafasi ya tano, Switzerland anafuta mkia. <laughs> Alafu kikundi cha mwisho yuko Ureno Portugal naongoza na alama tatu, Bosnia nafasi ya pili na alama tatu, Slovakia nafasi ya tatu, Luxembourg, Iceland na Liechtenstein. Mhm. Ndio msimamo huo wa Euro qualifiers. E, kuna mechi pia za kirafiki. Kuna ratiba ya mechi za kirafiki ambazo zimeratibiwa kusakata na nani kesho. E, yuko Morocco atakuwa na sakata na Brazil. Morocco kweli anajiamini siku hizi. <laughs> Casemiro atakuwa na hodha wa Brazil kwenye hii mechi. E, alafu kuna Germany dhidi ya Belgium mechi ya tarehe 28. Eh, Hansen Flick anajaribu kutengeza tengeza kikosi chake sawa pia na Ubelgiji. Mm. Ndio mechi za kirafiki ambazo zimeratibiwa uh, bara Ulaya na pia mchanganyiko na Afrika pia kuna mechi ya Iran dhidi ya Harambe Stars. Mm, mechi kubwa. Sijui kubwa. Ya kubwa. Ja. Mm. Kenya na mpira. Oh, <laughs> Mimi Mimi hata Kenya na mpira. Po. Timu kubwa. Mm. Ni kwambie bwana punguza ukitaka kuishi vizuri jikubali alafu ujue kupunguza expectation. Hii Kenya itakuua. Magojao <laughs> wapige kama walipigwa na Eswatini <laughs> na Lesotho. <laughs> Mimi naaminia Kenya tunaweza. Wewe aminia. Sawa. Aminia. Eh. Mimi Kenya ni surprise. Kenya ni surprise. <laughs> Ukishinda ni sawa. <laughs> <laughs> Kenya tuko sawa ndio ah, tunaanza sasa mwendo. Me, na nataka ni silent doubters ama critics. You remember when Firat came they were all this is a non performer coach. He came of course first game he registered a draw then went on won the next game. So if you look at um, the transition or rather the journey that since he took the mantle of the national team I think in Firat not that we trust but we can at least start to trust. Chani kwambie hii Kenya yetu mimi nimeishi hiyo miaka yangu 30 na kujua kwamba hata <laughs> mtrust. Mhm. Wale ambao wanaamua labda wa trust. Mm-hmm. Si Sebastian Minyi alikuja hapa akaongoza mpaka Afcon. Alafu dakika ya kufutwa ufirata hata ujui kama atamaliza hatamu yake. <laughs> eh. Alituambia tuna expectation nyingi. Which is true. Haya. Um, kumbuka pia kwenye KRU election nilikwambia kwamba imeratibiwa kuandaliwa Jumatano which is on Wednesday mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni siku tatu tu kabla ya hatamu ya Odwol Gangla na kikosi chake kukamilika Sasha Mutai ambaye tulifanya mazungumzo naye Jumamosi iliyopita jamaa mkweli anasubiria tu muhuri kukonfirmiwa kiwa uh, mwenye kitu wa KRU sawa so pia na watu wengine ambao wanawania nafasi za directorship rafiki yangu sana Charles Chege naomba sana apate hiyo nafasi. Kwenye hiki kipindi pia ni li, tulikuwa hidi tulikuwa tunaandaa mazungumzo na World Kickboxing Federation Kenya President Takid Master atakuwa anaingia kwenye mjengo. Zaidi ni kwamba hatutazungumza tu, nataka pia tuonyeshe kuhusiana na haya mambo ya kickboxing. Jamaa mkweli sana na ambaye kweli amejaribu kusukuma michezo ya mixed martial arts kwa tu kickboxing. Amejaribu amekazakaza kweli. Jamaa nguvu ambayo tulikuwa tunazungumza na yeye. Kwa hivyo usiende mbali zidi kuchangia kwenye swali la siku ambao tulikuuliza what's your take on Harambe Stars squad ahead of Iran friendly una imani na hicho kikosi nani ambao unahisi alifaa wekwe mm. rafiki yangu Evan Sapa anasema ana imani anasema <laughs> ganga mala hadi igwe tawal <laughs> takufa <laughs> believe okay keep talking to us on all of our social media platform remember on facebook it's facebook on facebook that is kutv kenya on Twitter at KUTV underscore Kenya, the hashtag on the spot. You can also tag us along at au underscore zero one two at real pinches. Aya, tuchukue pumziko fupi usiende mbali, tunarejea na mazumuzo ya World Kickboxing Federation Kenya ama mazumuzo ya kusiana na kickboxing. E, hapa ni mahahaha, <laughs> utasikia kweli, <laughs> utapata mahanja mina ya mm. usiende mbali. KUTV on the spot, tunarejea baada ya sekunde za kuesabu.
maelfu na maelfu ya wahamiaji wakiwa na watoto kutoka nchi za Amerika ya Kati wanaendelea kuasili kwenye mpaka kati ya Marekani na Mexico But folks I'm going thank you very very much I appreciate it. thank you ni habari kutoka pembe zote duniani ipo pasi kukufuku ipo pani idea tazidi ananyonya hanyonyi vizuri anakuwa hayuko comfortable jeshi la jamhuri ya kidemokrasia ya Kongo linapambana na uasi wa ADF kwa sasa wanatoa wito kwa mashirika makampuni na vile vile vituo vya uchukuzi mambo mengi yatakwenda kama yalivyopangwa hapa ni kuna mmoja wa viongozi wa chama cha wavuvi katika eneo zaidi tunajaribu kuwapa chanjo ili ina boost ama inanyanyua kinga ya mwili ndio inaenda kupelekea kupambana kupambana na virusi ni dunia ni leo jumatatu mpaka ijumaa moja kwa moja kutoka hiyo Kiswahili Washington DC This Sunday from 9 a.m. we join Kenyatta University for an interfaith Thanksgiving church and prayer service as Dr. Super Moesi, Director LNG, White Branch Office, Adventist University of Africa will be speaking on the theme The Lord is our banner, Exodus 17 verse 5, and Sheikh Ibrahim Lithome will be speaking on the theme And Thy Lord is most forgiving, full of mercy, Quran 18 verse 58. Live from 8:30 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. on KU TV. Okay, okay, he's in. Okay, okay, I'm stuck. into this mess. Wife is going to be a problem, then you will have to pay me every single shilling. Kurunzi ya kilimo huimarisha afya na uchumi endelevu katika jamii ni msingi mkubwa wa kipindi boresha kilimo. Kipindi hiki kinajikita katika teknolojia ya kisasa, utafiti na ushirikishaji wa dawa wa kilimo kuonyesha shughuli mbalimbali shambani. Kwa suluhu ya utoshelevu wa chakula, tazama boresha kilimo.
possessing your property, intellectual or material. Karibu tena kwenye kipindi KU TV on the spot ikiwa ni saa tisa sasa dakika tano e, wakati mzuri sana wa kuingia kwenye mazungumzo ambayo tulikuwa tumekuahidi tutakuwa tunaandaa kuhusiana na World Kickboxing Federation Kenya e, kuhusiana na kickboxing yani hapa mahanja mhanja msasa ndio imechemka sasa na nashukuru sana kwa ambao unazidi kufuatia hiki kipindi cha KU TV on the spot kwenye mitandao iwe una stream iwe ni kwenye Facebook ambapo tuko live KU TV Kenya sawa pia na YouTube KU TV Kenya alafu kwenye Twitter ukitaka kuzungumza na sisi ni rahisi sana tumia hashtag KU TV on the spot at au underscore Evans at real pinches KU TV Kenya na kwa ni mari dadi sana na inakuwa kwamba inatufikia zaidi kwenye arafa 0739 sufuri tano nne nne zero seven three nine one one zero five four four hmm ikino kiambu is watching asante sana mgeni ya shaja aja kwenye mjengo right time tuonge kusiana na masola ya world kickboxing federation huu nita kidmaster si mgeni kwenye hii studio I think sasa hakuna njia ujui hapa ndani. Karibu sana kwanza kwenye kipindi. Ah niko fresh. Mara mwisho tulizungumza ni kama miaka ngapi hivi? Ah ilikuwa tu last year ni miezi bana. Ilikuwa kitu kama October I think yeah. Ilikuwa last year. Yeah October. Bana hata uniitii sherehe za December bana. Sherehe za wapi bana? Kenya siku hizi kuna sherehe. Eh sherehe ziko bana. Haizi. Aniite basi hata December tutulie tu. Tusema bado iko mbali nitakuita before December. Before December. Tuki launch man ya WKF vizuri. Aniipe siku mapema. Ndio nikukumbushe. Hiyo ipatia. Hiyo rafiki bana isikuwe tu ni mahojiano. <laughs> eh inafaiende zaidi. Eh kuna vitu pia natumia labda unaweza kwanza ni kwambia uko copy design zangu ndio tunaweza flow together. So naelewa <laughs> na ujai copy bado lakini hiyo leo siongee. Bona jua ni. Tusifocus na hiyo. At focus na hii man ya WKF. Hey. Yeah. Okay yenyewe ni vile umesema tusifocus na hiyo yeah. lakini inakuwa story ya maana sana. Yeah unajua hey. hivyo. Mm -hmm. Sasa tangia tuachane na wewe mambo mengi sana yamebadilika. Yeah ziko mob labda sasa niulize ni gani juu siwezi tawa kuanza mwenyewe lazima kwanza unipeleke kwa kwa gani unaona ndio muhimu sana imebadilika. Uh, imebadilika juu last time nikiwa hapa nilikuwa side ya Kenya Kickboxing Federation Nam. na nilikuwa National Competition Secretary kweli sasa nimerudi after miezi kiasi kana nimekuwa president wa World Kickboxing Federation Kenya sasa tuanze na hapo kwa World Kickboxing Federation kwa sababu najua si, sijasikia uchaguzi kwenye uko kwenye ulikuwa kwa hivyo si wewe si president wa huko lakini kuna World Kickboxing Federation yeah. ambao kweli ni inakuja na ukisikiza tu inakuja na uzito fulani yeah. labda tofauti tofauti uh, World Kickboxing Federation kwanza ndio nini na inahusiana na nini okay hiyo ni body tofauti mm. juu kwa kickboxing tuko na bodies mingi no. tuko na wako World Association of Kickboxing Organization ile side nilikuwa sasa no kwenye Kenya Kickboxing Federation iko affiliated. No. Then kuna World Kickboxing Federation in short tunaita WKF. So World Kickboxing Federation ni dukota yao iko Australia. Na hii ya wako mostly wana deal na amateur. No. Amateur sio professional. Kwele. Ni ile kiwango na zacheza lakini si ya kulipwa. So au sana sana deal na hii alafu wako na two kind of styles ni full contact na K1. No. Then sasa tuko na World Kickboxing Federation tuko na both amateur and professional na tuko na Muay Thai tuko na MMA mm. tuko na full contact tuko na K1 na tuko na extreme sports combats zenye zime ingizadi kumfundani ushu ziko different kinds of styles mm. yeah najua kwamba baadaye utakuwa unatuonyesha hizi vitu ndio unajua kuna wakati unazitaja tu alafu mtu anashangai mtu anaongea lugha gani bana Mothai ni 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 lazima ukue ume experience mixed martial art ndio yeah. upate kuelewa ni nini na zina define K1 ni nini hizo zote yeah. kwa hivyo tofauti kubwa ni kwamba 
wako na W KF kwamba hapa kuna amacha na kuna professional lakini ile ni purely amacha. Purely amacha. Ah, kuna ushirikiano ama huwa tu ni independent bodies? Ni independent bodies. Nam. Yeah, cause kuna hadi IKF International Kickboxing Federation. Then uh, unapata vizuri sana kwa EA tu ya WKF unapata saa sisi wenyewe tunaweza cheza pro na tucheze amacha na bado kuna vitu vingi tunaweza fanya styles different mm. but isa, na kitu hatuwezi enda hatuwezi enda ka olympics mm. hatuwezi enda vitu kama all african games cuz hizo ni sports mm. zenye hazitaki watu professional ziko na rules tofauti hii okay. side ya mma ukianza kuona vizuri mma ni mixed martial arts in full utaona mtu kama mcgregor kona makrega na utaona mtu kama Adesanya bila yeah, ucheza pale hakuna cha nini ni yeah. UFC pale ni full body tupige yeah. na hata ingefai kuwe April tarehe nane tungekuwa nayo huku but funding imekuwa cuz imekuwa tu kwa ofisi for two months na ni fani fund hiyo kitu cuz I'm both the president and promoter so imekuwa ngumu kiasi but towards October no, December niko sure tutai host Ebu, now that umetaja mambo ya president na promoter yeah. huwa kwenye mixed martial art ama kwenye combat sports tuseme huwa sana kuna eh, mchanganyiko wa mawazo hasa kuhusiana na federation promoter tofauti kwa wapi na kazi ya nani ndio gani zote ni kama zinaingiana yeah. okay lakini si hata hivyo cause uh, naweza kuamini president but kuna promoter ah. mwenye endi anaweza organize man ya sponsorship kuhusu hii pro fights lakini sasa mimi nikichaguliwa niliwekwa zote both president na pro na promoter i think the reason ilikuwa ni was tusikuwe na malumbano kamaani because president anasema hivi promoter sema promoter yeye ndio anapanga kila kitu yeah. anajua pesa zitahitajika ni ngapi yes. na nani ataleta yes. wachezaji watalipwa ngapi hiyo ndio kazi ya promoter yeah saa mimi niko mimi ndio zote in general yani in short in kenya kuna mtu mwingine za authorize ama kuongelelea ah. uh, wkf kasi mimi Nimeona. It's only one person. Aha. So yeah. lazima kuwe na ushirikiano promoter na yeah. federation yeah. square kwa sababu wote wako na almost the same power. Yeah. Hiyo na organize na napeana ruhusa yeah. ya event. Yeah. So ndio maana imepatiwa mtu mmoja. Okay. Na ndio maana ungeangalia certificate zangu ungeona bado imesemekana mimi ndio president na mimi ndio promoter na mimi ndio na authorize anything concerning WKF no. in Kenya. Anywhere else world kickboxing federation imahadhi yake yako vipi Africa iko haje international iko haje ni question poa sana WKF imeenea sana no. juu sahi iko Tanzania iko Uganda iko DRC Congo iko Morocco iko Cameroon in fact Cameroon wana host their first uh, biggest international event itakuwa on the 15th of April so hiyo pia uenda nikaenda as the president cause the world president mr roban uh, anaitwa robert mini Will, wilsmith yeah. anaweza ataka kutumia wote cause tuko na idea kuchagua pia director mwenye atasimamia the whole african, african. region yeah. na mostly walikuwa na target kenya inaweza kuwa ndio inaweza toa huyo mtu yeah. na kutoa huyo mtu obvious yeah. atakuwa tu president mwenye ako kenya so inaweza kuwa vizuri sana ukikuwa president wa africa yeah. nzima inaweza kuwa poa sana cause yeah. target yangu we unakumbuka nikiwa hapa hata kitambo niko naongea kuhusu tu focus yangu ilikuwa jua kwenye iko hmm. na naona sasa iko hapo so labda nishindwe na kazi sasa ikwe niko napiga kelele eh yeah, mimi pia yeah. nafanya vizuri sana ku assist <laughs> yeah. i'm very good mm-hmm. <laughs> eh na utachimba hapo you can even ask ngure yeah. mimi kupanga yeah. nzuri sana So unataka kupanga side gani? Sijui <laughs> ni mpango gani uko nayo. Sielewi ni gani unataka kupanga. Ah, nasema tu usikubali kusafiri au mataifa yote peke yako. <laughs> oh, nayo na, ni kiangu sha hii side. <laughs> Utakubali uko nani? Naweza kubebea files bana. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa unaona tumeanza vile umeanza kueneza hapa. Hivyo ndivyo tutatupatia nafasi. Ni kweli. Takido mm. kuna mtu atauliza, "Ai no unatokaje tu kukuwa competition secretary unaingia tu kwa another federation mm-hmm. ama ni nini nilifanya mimi nimekwambia waziwazi i think tukiongea off camera ni mai kwambia ai bana mm-hmm. unaweka juhudi sana hapa yeah. kwa ni, ni nini hii passion yako bana mbona iko hivi alafu ndio ukaniambia ni mapenzi na nini nini mm-hmm. um, mtu atauliza kwa nini world kick boxing federation ili kuona tu wewe Kenya kwa sababu you're not the only kickboxer kwa hii inchi yetu 
Mbona mm. ilikuona wewe ama mm. unahisi ni nini kilifanya wakakuchagua mm. wewe kama takiri? Okay, mimi nazajibu hivi. Mm. Uh, wewe kulingana na miaka zenu umenijua hata nikikuja mahojiano hapa. I think office nilikuwa huko aijua mtu yeyote. No, hata ni hata in fact naweza naweza ambia mtu mm. just go and google kickboxing in Kenya. Mm. Alafu kiona results. <laughs> <laughs> Mtu anaweza sema wewe pia uko everywhere. Kwa nini eh, kila kitu ni eh, si mimi maji. Mm. Kitu ilifanyika ni nina passion. Wacha nianzie tu story kidogo. Unajua hizi vitu zote zinatoka kwenye kuna mashida. Mimi ninaambia watu daily na sita hii kosa kutaja. Nime grow ya Dandora na ndio nianzia hii talanta yangu ya kickboxing na taekwondo, karate, all martial arts. Mm. Na by then ni kwa 12 years. So passion yangu asijai andikwa kazi yoyote ingine mwanga na deal tu na mambo na martial arts i love sports so na passion focus dedication discipline yenyewe so every time nikiongea kitu yote utanipata tu kwa hiyo njia so i think juni kwa naongea na kuhusu sana uh-huh. na iuza zaidi uh-huh. game ikiwa ni mimi na organize so nilikuwa nafanya kazi mingi zaidi ya kuipromote alafu kumbuka kwa national competition center kwa hizo miaka zote 14 ili nifunza vitu vingi kuweza kujua kwa organize games na kuweza kujua kuendelesha games vile zinafaa. So hapo ndio nilionekania ikabakia ni miwa many point wakasema we need to work with this guy. Na mi pia ikaenda ikakuwa vizuri. Bado hata hii side nyingine tulikuwa tukienda uchaguzi ilifaa ninge change docket yangu cause kuna time niliulizwa. Takid nilikuja maujiani mahali sitasema ni wapi. Naam. Nikauza Takid bado uko tu pale pale kwa ile docket nikasema ya nikauza why. Hata mimi nilijiuza kwa nini? Na kumbe mwenye aliniuliza hivyo aliona passion yangu yeah. na step inafaa ni kwa nime make ndio ni change kickboxing in Kenya. And I'm not only talking about kickboxing. Ndio maana nikikuja hapa ukiniuliza unaona anga naongea kuhusu martial arts karibu zote because yeah. I love combat sports. Yeah. Na nazataka kuleta change yenye wengine wakiona vile WKF imekuja tu juzi yeah. huku na iende dominate ama ifanye kazi nzuri waione itakuwa funzo kwa wengine na federations zingine zote. Yeah. So good results na hard work pia upay. Ndio hii nalipa. Yeah. Sasa unapangaje kufanya W Kickbo- World Kickboxing Federation Kenya tofauti na mashirika mengine ya mixed martial sports ama combat sports hapa Kenya kwa sababu umekuwa kwa system. Yeah. Unajua ni nini what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. Sasa ni nini unataka kufanya tofauti? Okay, mi chenye nasema zaidi ni number one, hawa vijana wetu wamekuwa kufanya zoezi kwa muda mrefu wamekuwa kitrain hard lakini unapata ni watu wana familia zao na ni watu pia age wamefika wezi kana wazazi so mimi ningetaka kusema saa zile watakuwa wanacheza ma game whether you are an amateur ama we ni pro kuko ina token kidogo wanaweza kuwa napata at least mtu atakirudi home ameumia mali anaweza jisugua yeah. mtu akirudi home kuna kaunga kuna kitu anaweza kunywa nayo chai na pia fair wengine wanaweza pata wahara toka Kayole Dandora Gidurai wapi anaweza tembea mguu mpaka labda kasarani wengine wanazatembea hivyo mpaka Boreta mkaa leo kuna game Boreta yeah. unapata ana namna lakini officials labda wengine wana drive wengine wanakuja pale na ni through ija show ya yeah, hapa siongelee kickboxing yeah. naongelea sports zetu zote yeah. so mimi nazataka ku make change ya ku make sure hii ndio kitu naandika vijana ikiweza kuandika itakuwa vizuri then another thing nataka ku make change ya ku make sure tuko na competitions mingi both locally and internationally cuz imagine unaweza imagine nimekuwa kwa ofisi hatujatoka hata Tanzania ama UG ama popote ni juu ya maybe sponsorship na vitu zingine ndogo ndogo ndani lakini mimi nataka ku make sure saa hivi tumeanza after macha kidogo tu huko Kenya ambapo ya kwanza nataka ikuwe April hapa Kayole ndio no. nitakuwa naenda kila ghetto na slums na ziweka juu huko ndio tutapatakiwa wachezaji wazuri tusiwe eti saa zote game zetu tunaweka KU hapa ndani no tunaeka kasarani tunaeka boretum tunaeka uh, place kama bombers of kenya no ama chatao sasa zingine enda uweke hata vijijini na hiyo ndio kugroisha hii game mm. so through hiyo tutapata vijana wengi wenye wana talanta bila vijana wako wanafanya vitu mbaya huko kutumia madawa ya kulevia kuiba kufanya nini wengine wanaitwa wakakimbie mali fulani yani bila kutaka kujielewa juu an idol mind is a devil's workshop mm. mimi nataka kuiweka ikwe different na nataka kuianzia kutoka kwa mashule adifike juu then another thing threshold ya sports act yenye nasemekana ndio msaidio na government inafahamu kumefika like 23, less than 23 counties 23 counties hiyo pia atakuiangalia yeah. ambapo target yangu yes yeah. ambapo target yangu ni by most likely by next year mid 
nilikuwa nime samba kwa counties mingi mm. yeah then yangu pia sitaki kuona it ni only men nataka na more ladies kama sasa hii boxing iko new delhi no. india mm. wasichana wetu wamecheza huko mm. naweza pia naweza nataka pia kusikia kickboxing bila peleka wasichana wameenda kucheza sio mm. rugby sio football packet ya rambe starlets ama it boxing mm. no lazima hata si pia tukue hapo Changamoto kubwa ambayo umekumbana nayo tangia ile siku ambayo ulianza kazi as the president of the World Kickboxing Federation Kenya ni gani? Kwa sahihi hakuna. Kwa sahihi hakuna juu. Yeah. Naweza sema tu kweli hakuna juu. Sijaanza yani... sijaanza kuingia saa kwa ground vizuri vile iko. Yeah. Okay. Na mimi si ule mtu anzia na pale. Mimi naanza kuchimbana hapa chini yeah. na hapo ndio itafanya ugro. Lazima mwagilie maji kwa roots ndio mti kwena growth nzuri. Mm. So siezi anza na pale jeti hata kwa sponsors, hata sponsor atakuuliza, okay mna tatu wasaidie what's WKF. Mm. Uh, sisi wenyewe itasaidia ni juu. Mtu takagaa unachukua na hata yeye anafaidika. Hiyo ndio kazi ya sponsors. So ndio maana hata nimesema hii hatungepata sponsorship juu ile kwa haraka. Mm. Hii ya international yenye ingefaikuje. Naam. Mm. Tufanye hivi. Yeah. Kuna sponsor anaweza kuwa anatazama hiki kipindi mm-hmm. na ajui kuhusu World Kickboxing Federation. Yeah. Wacha aone alafu ndio sasa ukimtembelea ah najua ni nini hii bwana eh na wewe pia uko ready kuifanya demo mimi hatari sana na nini na demo yenyewe hapo ni chukue watu haya acha takid a master atuonyeshe kuhusiana na World Kickboxing uh, Federation kuna mambo mengi anataka kumuuliza takid kwa mfano uh-huh. kuna ku, kuna different classes hapa unaangalia sijui kuna MMA kuna amateur pro uh-huh. sanda Hizi zote ni component za uh, World Kickboxing Federation. Yeah, zote ziko hapo. Na ndio maana nasema World Kickboxing Federation Nam. ina umuhimu sana hapo kwa vijana wetu. Juu vijana wetu kuna watu wanafanya different kinds of arts. Kweli. Si eti tutawekea tu ni mguu pekee. Juu sasa tukiingia taekwondo unapata 75% ni mguu, 25% ni mkono. Ukiingia karate unapata 25% ni mguu, 75% ni mkono. Alafu hata ukirudi kickboxing unapata 50% mkono, 50% mgu ambapo sasa kickboxing imecombine vizuri na muambia watu na sieti na sifu kickboxing sana hata ukienda kwa street fight ukitaka kujiokoa vizuri kickboxing ni nzuri juu kuna elbow strike kuna knee strike kuna kila part of your body yenye unatumia kweli that's the best thing with mma mixed martial arts kwa hivyo while kickboxing federation inabeba uzito wa is it different combat sports yes fantastic yeah. sasa gani ambao unaanza kutuonyesha basi kwa sasa hizi nitaonyesha about full contact vile si utumia eh wapo atakujoin hapo kwenye yeah. set ndio tuone sasa kama sasa hizi akiwa hapa i hope kila mtu anamuona vizuri uh, for full contact unapata tuna kick Nam. na the top of our feet Nam. tuna kick tu kama vile watu wa karate Nam. ama taekwondo u kick So kikik kuna kick tu hivi. Unaona? Naam. Hiyo ndiyo kazi ya nini? Uh, even ndivyo kick zetu zao wanga. Nam. So for example nikiwa hapa anapiga ndio hiyo. Tena ya pili ndio hiyo. Sasa hiyo inaitwa roundhouse kick. Una turn, you can kick to the stomach level or you can kick to the face level akiwa hapo. Hivyo sasa. Unaona? Sasa hiyo ni normal. Alafu sasa tunaweza tumia hook punch na roundhouse. Ju kickboxing the difference ni kuwa punches zao ni za boxing, ni boxing 50% alafu uh, ni mal- yes 50. Yeah. yeah. So sasa anapiga hook punch na roundhouse. Anapiga hook roundhouse. Na lazima saa zote anaweka guard. So hiyo ni kama tuseme tu full contact. Then the difference with full contact haizi vaiti shot kama ni kwa ring. Itabidi ameitoa akobea chest. Then sasa tunaingia Muay Thai. With Muay Thai kuna knee strike sani hapo hivyo hapo hivyo hiyo ni knee strike another thing with muay thai badala atumie uh, the top of the feet mm. anatumia shin ku kick ah kwa hivyo ndio unaona mother mo mara nyingi wamevaa eh, protective gear yeah, hapa so kwenye so akitan utapata anatumia shin ana stretch hivi shin Nam. yake one Nam. hapo unaona shin ndio inatumika ah. na hapo utapata mara mingi anaza piga low kick muay thai na k1 wanapiga ta low kick then kuna elbow strike ambapo inatumika pia kwa Muay Thai so elbow strike una turn na hit hivyo tena una hit hivyo tena una hit hivyo yeah. so unaza hit elbow strike to the jaw u hold mtu upige knee strike kwa mbavu so ni one hapo two 
hapo. Unaona? Then kuna uppercut. Na ni strike. Unaweza piga mtu mm. chin, ushike. Hiyo bado ni mwaitha hiyo. So ni 1 hapo, 2 hapo. Unaona? Then kuna size zile combinations. Anaweza kuwa kwa hapa, aruke juu na back kick, a kick. Hizi zote sana combinations za easy at zote. So nikiwa hapa nimeshika hii target. Anaweza ruka hivyo. Aruke hivyo. Sasa hapa utapata za punch 1 2 kick. So 1 2 kick hapo. 2 kick hapo. Alafu arudi spinning kick. Hapo hivyo spinning achape tena round. Hivyo combinations tofauti. Naam. Ziko hapo. Then pia kuna clinching kwa MMA. Mnaweza nda grappling chini. Kuna vitu vingi sana tunafanya kwa hii art. Haya, ushi nayo sasa ndio gani? Ushu hiyo ni ya China. Naam. Ushu ina deal na weapons. Okay. Kuna sword, kuna ah. sticks na kuna bado movements zao tofauti uh-huh. zile zenye unaona nga uh-huh. akina Jet Li labda uh-huh. mtu ameka hapa uh-huh. labda ameka hivi amefanya hii stance na kama example sasa tuseme ame try kuni punch na hii mkono uh-huh. nime block nita move ni block ni chukulie one ni kuje juu pa pa vitu kama hizo bado naweza mclinch hivi uh-huh. nimlete hapa yani ushu hizi zote ni martial arts na hizi techniques zote ziko kwa hizi martial arts zote. Naam. So naweza sema tukiwa tuna show kidogo lakini kama mtu atakujua zaidi Naam. inafaa kuje pia kwa class a join ndio ajue more about all these things. Na cha utamu ni kwamba WKF iko na sasa everything hii yenye tumesema unaweza pata yeah. uh, mixed martial arts, yeah. unapata ushu, unapata yeah. Muay Thai, kickboxing. Yeah. Ah. Iko sasa kila kitu iko ndani. So, wakati mlikuwa mna demonstrate hapo nilikuwa najiuliza sasa mimi ni judge. Mm-hmm. Sasa where what do I look for? Okay, kitu yenye iko. No. Sasa zile tumeenda kwa ring. Naam. No. Alafu kiandikia watu barua ya participation. So specify. Naam. No. Kutakuwa na full contact, kutakuwa na K1, kutakuwa na MMA, no. kutakuwa na Muay Thai. Hizo zote tukishawambia. So sasa zile mtu anakuja kwa ring, yeye anajua mimi nimejiandikisha saidia Muay Thai. Mimi ah. ni MMA. So referee kuna ule mwenye anajua kuangalia zote na kuna ule pia ako specifically mzuri kwa kuangalia watu wa MMA, mwingine wa Muay Thai, mm. mwingine wa full contact. Mm. Umeelewa? Mm. So points ziko different. Ndisaka ukiwa kwa full contact, there is no way utapiga mtu knee strike. Hauwezi. Uwezi piga mtu elbow strike? No. Back fist tulikuwa tunatumianga kama hii inakuwa kwa karate sana sana. Kwele. So kuna techniques zenye uwezi tumia. Sweep unaweza tutumia lakini sisi tutangusha mtu chini ulale naye chini. So hii itarudi size za Muay Thai K1 pick nazo. Kweli. Then MMA na iko nazo zote mpaka mtajiangusha chini grappling ikue nini ushaiona ni kai UFC. No. Na kwa wenye waelewi waelewe hivi hizi vitu. No. Van Dam alikuwa anafanyanga uh, full contact. Movie ya Van Dam mtu akiangalia sana ataka kuelezea watu the difference. No. Then Ong Bak ndio wa Muay Thai. Muay Thai inatoka Thailand. Full contact ilikuwa imetoka USA lakini Muay Thai ni ile yenye ongback wanga anatumia magoti nini no. kila kitu then MMA back elbows, eh, MMA mm, ni no. kama saa tu vile unaananga mm. kinanani wakicheza kwa UFC akina Kona McGregor akina Desanya vitu kama hizo combination ya everything yeah. so no. kuna that difference yeah. Yeah. kuna submission technique hapa pia kila kitu iko Um, Hakuna kitu haiko ndani. Which is the most famous sub- uh, submission technique inatumika uh, kwenye maybe kickboxing mothai. Ah uh, for kickboxing nayo submission de- technique haiko kind of contact. Eh. Juu ni hapa kwa hapa. Pale ni kunyoroshana. Eh, yeah. So ni ngumu sana kuipata. Eh, uliwahi ni invite ni finye ni kufinye referee ndio niokoe. Eh, eh uliwahi ni invite mahali huko Rwai bana. Ah, yeah, 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 Rwai uliona. Ni kuna sikia tu miguu tata. <laughs> yeah, na saa bado ukumbuke hii ilikuwa amateur. Yeah. So ukiona professional unaenda unapata inakuwa tight zaidi. Naam. Cuz pale sasa kila mtu anataka kushindania belt na pia pale ni kutengeneza pesa sasa ile ndio life yako. Kweli. Yeah. So far so good. Um tusemeje kulingana kwa sababu naona pia ni sport ambayo inahitaji a lot of resources. Yeah. Na inahitaji a lot of manpower. Mm-hmm. Do you have it now ama changamoto ni gani? Kalika kupata marefa ambao watajua kujudge mm-hmm. kickboxing motai yeah. full body mixed martial ref ambaye kwa sababu unahitaji a lot of manpower mm-hmm. 
na labda hao marefa wako ama wako na no. bado mimi mwenyewe nita make sure nimeweka seminar yenye nitafanya tukue nao zaidi because no. the best thing with the, our world president Mr Robert Will Smith ni kuwa ye ako ready sisi tupate vile tunaweza kwa tunaenda Australia tunapeleka no. watu wanaenda wanafunzwa zaidi no. na pia hata ye atakuja no. Kenya no. tukue na seminar kubwa na before atakuje no. already niko na hiyo knowledge on what should be done no. na ni nini na nini nahitajika na referee no. ndio anze kuifanya vizuri na fuzu no. tunaweza wafunza nini so tunataka ku hold seminar by let me say mid uh, may lazima tukue na seminar na pia kwa wanafunzi pia tuwaeleze rules vile ziko. Yeah. Ukitaka kucheza hii game rules ni hivi, ukitakoliwa hivi hivi ndivyo itakuwa. So mtu asione ni kaa kuona pia. Ndio pia tukupate kupata international referees kutoka Kenya. Yeah. Kwa sio rahisi, lakini tuko sure with uh, my leadership on the side that I am, mimi nita make sure ni streamline kila kitu. Cuz nataka napenda kitu inaitwa professionalism. Yeah. Sitaki tu watu wafanye kazi juu wanafanya matuju mtu ni rafiki mm-hmm. so anaingia tu hapana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lazima kwa umehitimu vizuri. So tutakuwa na wale marefa wazuri na already hata Kenya tuko na marefa wazuri kuhusu vitu kama MMA uh, kuhusu vitu kama let me just say Muay Thai yeah. wako na I think mshai host starter games huku yeah. KU na mkaona kunao. Nikweli. So hao wote ni watu mi ushirikiana nao pia. Hata kama ni kwa side, uzuri wetu si ushirikiana pia na tunasaidiana kwa njia mengi. Haya, yeah. ndani ya dakika kama moja bila hata kutupea story ya butu. Eh, hey, unajua nikisikia matata anaanza sikia vizuri bwana. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, tupe demonstration mbili tatu hapo alafu ndio urejee hapa uh-huh. tupige tumalize mazungumzo na wewe. Tupe drill moja maridadi tu. Eh, tu pate pate utamu eh, hii ni kwa isani ya World Kickboxing Federation Kenya rais mwenyewe Takid Master anatuonyesha tu eh, maswala haya eh, wanafanyaje haya switch spinning One. again two. again three. 360 alafu spinning 21 okay hapa cut me let's go first hapa cut me again Cut me again. Hook, 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 hook. Round, round. Knee strike. Knee, knee. Round again, round again. Drop, the other drop. Up cut knee, up cut knee, up cut knee. Round again, round. 360. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> Eh ndio hiyo mahanjam eh. Sasa njue kwamba pia na nini rafiki yangu. <laughs> mahasidi, mahasidi ningependa kuwafahamisha na watangazia na watangazia tu bure eh, kwamba takidi ni rafiki yangu. <laughs> na hujui wakati tumetulia huko kama ananifunza mambo ambayo umetazama hapo. Eh wewe ndio ananifunza hizo vitu mnasikia hey, resist tata wewe bwana ah karibu tena mzee wa kazi bwana tumalize ya mahojiano eh, ukiniambia unapangaje kama kuna event ambazo umepanga na kama mimi ndio nataka kuanza hii safari nitajifunzaje eh hey, eh hey, bwana naweza meza maji kiasi ah meza maji bwana meza maji meza maji <laughs> <laughs> Piga funda la maji. Hatari sana na natumai kwamba pia unapata utamutamu. Eh, ndugu kweli inaonekana hatari sana, si ndio? Haya ndio hayo mahanja mahanja kutoka kwa Takid Master rais wa WKF eh, Kenya World Boxing Federation. Takid. Yeah. Uh, tukisonga mbele sasa mipango ni gani kuna event ambazo zimepangwa au umeratibu zifanyike ama zinaendelea uh, kuna vilabu unapanga ama mambo ambayo umepanga kuhakikisha kwamba unaleta clubs ama wachezaji ambao ni wapi ama for, for example yuko rafiki yangu Evans naona amefurahishwa na hizi vitu za kickboxing anataka kujiunga na nyinyi afanyeje sasa Evans ako wapi kwanza ndio ule pale Kai wasi kuku si ni rais tu afanye. Anze sahi. Anze tu mazoezi. Ai ai ai. Alafu tuko hivi pia. Nina anasema ajabeba kiti yake. Atafanya tu nataweza. So uche naweza sema ni kuwa kuhusu clubs. Kuna clubs kutoka Kayole, kutoka Dandora, kutoka Gidurai, kutoka Nakuru. 
uh, na pia bado tunataka kuingia kwa forces mm. kama sasa KDF tuingie places ka uh, N, nini, NPC yani NPS yeah. National Police Service yeah. tuongee nao watu kaji hizi michezo zinasaidia sana unaweza pata umebeba weapon na risasi ishe ama kaa ni kisu umenyanganywa na ama we ni fanya fujo uone unaenda kupiga rungu imeanguka umebaki na raia hapo utafanya mm. nini lazima utumie mkono na mguu na hiyo ni weapon iwezi uwezi nyanganywa na mtu yote na vile usemekana mm. mtu yote amebeba weapon jana kwa gamuoga hata zaidi reason ni nini ye nguvu yake depend kwa weapon lakini we mkono na mguu yezikatwa utajiokoa nayo so tunaweza taka pia forces zetu na ndio maana unaanga forces mingi zote zofanya martial arts yeah, so mimi naweza taka nazapata um, uh, WKF ijiingize huko ndani zaidi ndio pia ipenye na tena kitu kingine pia mashule tuingie pia hizi ma university manini zote tukuwe na sports yenye at least tunaweza host kitu yeah. julikani kivu na game ya kwanza uh, nilikuwa napanga ikuwe Kayole vile tu nimesema kuna yeah. club nzuri sana Kayole inajitwa Hardcore ambapo hata Oktoba game yenye tulikuwa nayo chama cup ni hao walichukua no. nambari moja na already pia hao wako nami na clubs mingi pia zime confirm kwa affiliate na mimi no. wafanye kazi nami pamoja cuz kumbuka wengi wao nilikuwa nao na waliona kazi yangu uh, na nilikuwa kiongozi wao sasa wanafuata so, sawa wanafuata juu wanajua mm. kama nimepata hiyo nafasi ya ku maybe kuna mengi mazuri yataonekana na yatafanyika ambapo hata mimi pia naamini yako njiani na lazima yafanyike. Naam. Yeah. Hiyo ya mtu ambaye ni mgeni kwenye hii kickboxing kwa hiyo anataka kukuwa competitive ama labda tu anataka ku for defensive akupateje wewe kama takid. Mimi takid master kunipata ni nitawapatia pia through YouTube unaweza ingia YouTube takid master Kenya. Takid master Kenya T A K I D master alafu Kenya kingia kwenye YouTube subscribe pale utapata mafunzo mengi sana ya every kind of martial arts Nam. na pia uh, mafunzo kuhusu chenye na faukule na vile wafanye zoezi zingine kawaidi juu si asiye tunafanya kickboxing peke ama let me martial arts peke tunafanya pia general body fitness mm. na pia kaa ni kwa namba wanaweza nipata kwa 0716859113 kama ni kwa namba unanipata kwa 0716859113 Three. Na ukitaka kunipata ki Facebook mm. utanipata tu kwa Takid yani utanipata kwa Jeff Takid Facebook mm. ni Jeff Takid mm. so unaweza niongelesha pale kwa Messenger unaweza niongelesha popote na mimi nitakusaidia si lazima mimi ndio nikufunze naweza ukiwa na kuru naweza kuambia club yenye kuna kuru mm. ukiwa na Nairobi naweza kuambia yenye uko huko ukiwa Kiambu naweza kuelezea yenye uko huko na mwalimu mm. nikushikanishe na wanze zoezi ndio hata si tukianza pinche za tukuanza eti tutakuwa tunacheza game tulianza ka defense juu tulikuwa dandora na unajua huko yeah. vijana ni wabaya wengi yeah. so tulikuwa hata kitu itatufanya tuweze kujua kujua <laughs> tuzaicheza tufike kwenye tuko yeah. mpaka tukuje kuisimamia hivi ah. so kwa kunipata ni hivyo vile nimesema kitaka kunipata hiyo ndio njia pekee unaweza nipata nayo na tutasaidiana ah, sijui kama kuna kitu kingine ambacho unataka kuongeza ah kitu ya kuongeza ni Martial arts is not all about brutality. Martial arts ama let me say specifically kickboxing vile watu wameona wasidhanie ni kitu rough eti watoto waezi fanya juu wazazi yeah. wengi yeah. udanganywa ati wewe ah, unapigwa kichwa yeah. unaenda unaumia unafanywa siji nini hiyo yeah. yote ni uongo hawezi kuwazimu mimi mwenyewe nimefanya martial arts for the past 30 years sija kuwazimu niko sawa na niko gangari So kila kitu ni vile utafunza tuko na protective gears tuko na walimu wazuri wale wenye wanajua chenye inafaupitie. Nayo martial arts kitu inataka discipline, dedication, humility, honesty, perseverance na self control. Ukiwa na hayo yote uta make martial arts kwa kitu kitamu zaidi. Usije ukatujoine tukufunze ndio endo pigo wengine wamwanyang'anye. Juna jua wengi wenu ni kitumia lugha ya mtaani. Unapenda nyongo lo sana. Ati Jume train unaenda kupiga mtu ngeta umnyang'anye. No. In martial arts tukipata hivyo tunakutoa. Ah. Na kitu kingine zaidi naweza kuongezea. Ukiwa martial artist uende ukipiga na ovyo ovyo mtaani ujua kuna sheria pia no. kutoka kwa government. Ah. So hii kitu uh, the best uh, nini uh, the best martial artist you are the best peacekeeper you should be. Ah fantastic. Takid ni sema ni asante sana kwa muda wako na ni sema heri kwenye kazi yako sasa na World Kickboxing Federation Kenya tupo hapa sisi.
support lazima kama tulivyo ku support uki huko kwingine sasa mbona tusikupe support pande hii ajio lazima mtu wangu na ticket ya moroko iko ticket ziko si gani <laughs> na hata labda ticket itakuwa ya KUTV pia tukienda ma game zingine who knows eh, yeah. but by the way mm. wewe unajua mimi najua si hata unajua <laughs> sisi ni wabeshi na tunajua hii maneno haya hatuzi angushana kaid atakid eh. kwa heri mzee wangu nashukuru sana kwa muda wako eh. competition ya oboreta inaendelea leo inaendelea leo sasa si ndio hata sijaenda si na ilifanyeni ah, kuna mjana wangu kuna mda kuna mda wa kufika alafu kabla mwezi wa nne mm. tutajua kama the next one kayole tutakuwa e, na pia after uchaguzi nitakuelezea vile ah, itakuwa uchaguzi wetu national itakuwa tarehe moja April ah itakuwa yeah. nzuri sana mimi jamaa wangu Evans by the way ako very serious nataka kujua sijui nani kakatana hela zake yeah. but umemwambia sasa uwezi eh, kujafanya si hiki tuji ya hela Evans umesikia ifanye ya fitness na defense <laughs> na ni kitu ya discipline <laughs> unless mtu amehandwa wewe ni uzamuokoa lakini usijiokoe hivyo bila kufikiria Asante Evans uko pale make sure your information ya yes, stumie kuitisha deni imsaidie sana Asante yeah. sana Takid uh, Takid Master Rais wa W Kickboxing Federation Kenya imekuwa raha sana kusikiza kutoka kwake na zaidi ni kwamba eh, tumepata pata raha ku kuzungumza na yeye na akatuonyesha pia demonstration ya hali hali mambo yako vipi inakuwa vizuri sana kile siku kufanya hiki kipindi na kupata kuzungumza na watu kando na michezo ambayo labda watu wamezoea hii kickboxing nzuri kwa hivyo hakisha kwamba unawafuatia tao ta kid master pia world kickboxing federation Kenya upate kupata habari habari na zaidi kwenye hapa KUTV tunahakisha kwamba tunakupa habari kuhusiana na hiyo federation ama world kickboxing federation asante sana Simon Dr Simon anasema Mirema Drive anatazama kipindi anafuatia sana inaonekana daktari unapenda mambo ya martial art mara mwisho tulizungumza na yeye ilikuwa LFNE na leo pia umetegemea hii eh hey, ni kama tutazungumza chembo uniambie sasa eh hey, interest yako na mixed martial art iko vipi lakini kama unahitaji pia kujua mambo ya kickboxing ndio huyu Takid eh una kulinka alafu mnafunza na funzana mawili matatu asante sana pia Lidi anatazama akiwa Kiambu eh Ikinu Ward asante sana kwa kuzidi kufuatia kipindi eh hey, Evans uko wapi sasa bara tusikie sasa <laughs> eh hey, kwenye fixed pia kumbuka kuna mechi ambazo zinasakatwa leo za qualifier sawa na Euro 2024 qualifiers na sakato kuanzia saa kumi, kumi. alafu kuna Enterprise na Mwamba Cup mechi ambazo zinakuwa zinasakatwa nadhani leo e, kutoka saa tisa zilikuwa zinasakata sakato alafu kuna za saa kumi. pale Impala Club kuna mechi ya Impala Rowans ambayo ndio timu ya kina dada ya Impala Saracens itakuwa ina menyana na Black Pearl kutoka Uganda mechi ya kirafiki Nadhani hiyo mechi imekuwa imekamilika ama imekamilika nitakuwa naangalia kama nitapata matokeo. Mechi ya saa kumi ni Impala dhidi ya Min Machine kwenye Enterprise Cup. Kuna mechi nyingi sana. Kuna raha raha ya kufuatia fotio pia tunasubiri mechi ya Harambe Stars dhidi ya Iran ambayo itakuwa inafanyika ndani ya siku mbili nadhani. Eh ndio baadhi ya vitu ambavyo tunaratibu ratibu. Si umeonaje mambo ya kickboxing bwana? Wananikumbusha nikiwa Cambodia. Ehe. kabla mambo ikuwe venye ilikuwa ehe hizo <laughs> enzi ehe. hata mandonga angeniweza ulikuwa hatari hatari watakuotea mbali madonga mwenyewe si mkali <laughs> mdomo <laughs> ah, kelele tu <laughs> eh, lakini ni sawa tunadhani ni nzuri sana mix macho mm. watu kiwa nazo Kini, eh, ni kazi nzuri hiyo hasa kwenye nchi ambayo inakuwa na wezi wanaongezeka <laughs> ama wanyongaji wanaongezeka <laughs> wanyongaji <laughs> eh, <si>. wanaongezeka waweza haya sasa tunafika fika dakika na jaribu kuangalia matokeo kama eh, na jaribu kuangalia kama niko na matokeo ya hiyo mechi ya Impala Sara since ndio nikupe Uh, he ni Impala Saracens. Uh, ndani ya dakika kumi tu hakisha kwamba tunakupa uh, matokeo. Sijui kama unafuatia raga. Eh uh, nzuri mchezo, sana. Eh uh, mchezo wenyewe ilikuwa ni wa kukata na shoka. Haya ndio hii mechi ya yeah, Black Blood. Ya yeah, Black Blood iko yeah. mangapi ngapi? Mm, kulikuwa ilikuwa inaanza saa Hiyo ilikuwa Mwamba Cup. Ya yeah, Mwamba Cup. Uh, mm. Hii ya Black Pearl 
dhidi ya Cabernet Kab University. Mm -hmm. uh, hii ya Impala Impala Roans dhidi ya uh, Black Pearl kutoka Uganda ish, alama 21 bila jibu kwa hisani ya Black Pearls. Maajabu haya ndakuwa na confirm kama hiyo ndio final score ama mambo yalibadilika eh, kuna mechi nyingine pia zinaendelea kwenye Enterprise Cup yuko Homeboys anacheza dhidi ya Menengai Oilers eh, mechi ambayo inachezwa pale ASK Jamhuri ASK Grounds sawa pia na Blackbird ambao wanamenyana na Catholic Monks hapa nyumbani eh, matokeo ambayo kama hutayapata kabla kipindi kikamilike mm -hmm. basi utakuwa unayapata kwenye habari za KU TV mm -hmm. Yeah, um, 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 about your enterprise cup and it's very important to look at the history of the enterprise cup mm. it is the oldest uh, i'll say league before the kenya cup was introduced and it's date back in 1930 all the way until 2022 of course and then we are here 2023 but between 1940 and 1946 it was postponed due to the uh, was it second world war no. that happened then around 2020 then 2020 2021 because of covid-19 no. but ever since it has been a good tournament and of course there is some winners who have actually uh, mastered the art of squeezing wins out of teams and one in particular is the Kenya Harlequins one of them and uh, we have even the defending champions that is the Cabras Sugar they have a pretty good history in that uh, tournament or rather competition mm -hmm. it's a good one you see uh, then black blood will will be eyeing uh, the title for the first time no they have been eyeing the title mm -hmm. for many years the title now uh, clinching the title yeah but they have not been able to <laughs> get hold of the title lakini wamekuwa kitafuta Hector Machovan anasema ni kweli ndio the biggest the oldest rugby competition not in Kenya in East Africa mm -hmm. uh, wanasema wasafiri kampuni ya Enterprise ambayo ilikuwa inaleta leta mizigo mm -hmm. East Africa ndio ili kwa ina sponsor sponsor hii competition lakini imepoteza utamu Kenya Cup imekuja ikaifanya yani Enterprise haina ile utamu Bamburi Super Series pia ilikuja ikaizimazima kidogo lakini ni vizuri kuona bado inaendelea na tunatumai kwamba mabadiliko ambayo yatakuwa yanafanyika pale uh, kwenye <laughs> pale kwenye KRU yatakuwa yanabadilisha watu sana asante sana Eric Ongweno mm. <laughs> e, ni jamaa team manager wa Kenya Sevens e, Eric Ongweno anacheka ati nimesema sports registrar ni sajili wa nini kwani sports registrar ni nani si ni msajili wa masuala ya <laughs> ya michezo <laughs> then um, there is some pretty things uh, that really uh, that really happened and you know when you talk about euros uh, this is uh, another tournament that have really attracted some sort of you know attention and um, huge following around the world not only in africa Uh, but around the globe and in particular mm. the enmity between Italy and of course England mm. yeah. uh, same enmity and now it's being extended to the same group of course and many fans who are just um, you know wishing for what happened the last time that these two teams meet actually it was in the finals and uh, Italy of course got the best out of you know uh, England and actually England revenge for that one and it was one of the most you know epic games as far as euro is concerned and that was the highlight of the week a week that uh, Harry Kane of course uh, wrote his own history breaking history that was set before him and now writing his own as England's top goal scorer as far Aya. as international game is concerned Kone. Francis Abuga matoka asante sana daddy wa mm. gas butere pia asante sana super dad dad Moses Atakus asante sana ni baadhi ya watu ambao wamefuatia kipindi nashukuru sana uh, Abu Sad pia asante sana kwa kufuatia kipindi anasema hakuna utamu wa soka kama hakuna EPL sasa tusemeje na hii international ni FIFA ndio walipanga eh, <laughs> eh, kuna mwingine pia hapa anaitwa El Capitan anauliza hii game ya Harambe itaonyeshwa wapi hata mimi sijui <laughs> akiwa lai sijui ama unajua 
labda KUTV maybe update <laughs> haya haita onye, mimi sina habari kama mechi ya <laughs> eh, mechi ya Harambe Stars dhidi ya Iran itakuwa inaonyeshwa anywhere ama itakuwa inastreamiwa ni kuomba tu hata kwenye federation youtube labda wataonyesha tupate kutazama vijana wa nyumbani tuone makubwa ambayo watafanya dhidi ya Iran mimi nataka ni twende zetu kwa sababu muda kweli umekwisha uh, ni kuacha na kusema kwamba kuwaza hela kila siku hakuna likizo usikuwe na likizo ya kuwaza hela uh, uwe na wiki nzuri ama wiki yenye mafanikio tupatane hapa jumamosi tufanikisha hiki kipindi kikuwa bora na bora zaidi mimi ndio pita pinches ah si niseme ni asante kwa kutufuata tangia ah, saa saba saa nane hadi sasa inatimia saa kumi. alright well remember earlier on we had asked you about our question of the day um, do you support the changes that were made by Harambe Stars national head coach Indian Ferrat about you know omitting some players and of course including some players in the international uh, squad and of course friendly matches that they will be playing against Iran do you support those changes i remember our of course our social media platform that is on facebook KUTV Kenya on twitter KUTV underscore Kenya and the hashtag always has been on the spot well, with those few remarks, of course, it is in this point that I actually want to leave you with that. Thank you so much for always making time and tuning in for On The Spot. My name is Auma Evans. Until next time, bye-bye for now. into this mess. Wife is going to be a problem, then you will have to pay me every single shilling. I'm the founder of Arduino Kenya. Arduino Kenya, uh, the name comes from the board which I usually use, Arduino Uno. In Oasis Madare, I've been training students on how to come up with projects uh, using Arduino and Raspberry Pi. This is an app I've made myself. So you can change even the scrolling speed, you can reduce the speed. In this field of Arduino, I've been also to, able to make gaming games. Instead of using manual switches, I'm using the touch sensor. You just need to touch the sensor, then the lights will be either on or Oh, oh.
Lula ni programu inayokupa fursa ya kutizama video zote pindi tu unapokuwa na nafasi. Hadithi za kukupa motisha, drama, maisha ya vyuo vikuu, teknolojia, masuala ya jamii, kuzuru maeneo tofauti, spoti, burudani na zaidi. Pata programu ya Lola sasa kwenye rununu yako kwa yote unayohitaji. Hivi katika awamu yetu ya maonesho, leo tunakufunza kwa kukuonesha jinsi ya kuandaa mabuyu hapa Talent Junior Academy na upatikana Jombo Mombasa. Kwa hivyo leo watoto wa Kongangare kabisa wamejiandaa kukufundisha na kukuonesha jinsi ya kupika mabuyu ama kuandaa mabuyu. Naomba nikaweze kuwapa nafasi wajieleze na wakuoneshe hatua kuanzia mwanzo hadi pale watakapofikia. Usibanduke mtazamaji. Kwa majina naitwa Emmanuel Musia na ni rafiki yangu Nyambula. Naenda kuonyesha jinsi ya kupika mabuyu. Mwanzo anaeka maji kwa sufuria. Anachukua askari anaeka anaanza kukoroga.
Anaibandika kwenye jiko Anaaja kwa daiti Anaikorogea Akimaliza Anaika mabuyu Mwanzo unaicha kwa dakika tano hapo Unachukua kikomo mmoja cha mabuli unaika unaingiza kwa sufuria Na unaikoroge Ungeza unga wa mabuyu Bade ya hapo anakoroga Kwa kuwa kwenye jiko unayeka chini ndo itulie Ipoe Kado imepoa unaeza kuipula Nao mtazamaji na imani umepata kuzionea njisi mabuyu ya navi wandaliwa Rahatupu kwenye mitindo ya kipuani Nungo tukaweze kupata mapumziko Tutakaporudi dotakua tunamalizia Usie zembali
The level where the, the normal Mwananchi and also the government stakeholders can uptake these solutions. Those small acts multiplied by, by millions of us will help make a difference in the world at the end of the day. It's just a slight behavior change that we need and you'll find that it serves us a bit, a bit uh, more than you put in. And, and that's the goal. We want to live a better world than we found. Because at the rate we are going, we will secure the planet for future generations. This Sunday from 9 a.m., we join Kenyatta University for an interfaith Thanksgiving church in prayer service as Dr. Super Moesi, Director LNG, White Branch Office, Adventist University of Africa will be speaking on the theme, The Lord is Our Banner, Exodus 17 verse 5, and Sheikh Ibrahim Lithome will be speaking on the theme, And Thy Lord is Most Forgiving, Full of Mercy, Quran 18 verse 58, live from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. on KU TV. Lola is an app that gives you a chance to watch videos, listen to audios, and read articles wherever you are for free. Motivational stories, dramas, campus life, technology, lifestyle, adventure, sports, academics, jobs, entertainment, and more. Download Lola now on Play Store. All you need, you got Lola. karibu mabuyu yetu yako tayari hii ni awamu ya mwisho ambayo sijui watoto hao watakwambia na lipi watakuwa na lipi ambalo la kukuaga karibu ah asante sana hao watoto hawa jamani wameandaa vizuri sana kina cha ja, mabuyu yenyewe anavutia chakula kinavutia na kupendeza nzuri hmm. sana ulisema unaitwa nani Emmanuel Musa. Mhm, mm na huyu mtoto wa kike. Mm? Nyambula Abdalla. Mmetengeneza mabuyu matamu. 
Mnatoapa mm, nafasi tena kwenye mitindo ya kipwani muonyeshe tena uwezo wenu, sawa? Mm, mimi nashukuru sana. Hata tumpishe ya mwalimu azungumze mawili matatu kuhusiana na haya mambo yenu. Ha! Mwalimu. Naona watoto wamefanya mambo matamu sana kwenye kipindi. Yaani hata mtu hawezi yamini kama yametengenezwa na watoto.
hata uende na mmoja kweli lakini na imani ipo siku nitarudi tarudi siku nyingine Yeah. Easy hapa shileni kuna kufunza mambo mengi ni CBC na wale wana mjadala oh CBC si nzuri ni baya of course ina kila kitu kina uzuri na ubaya lakini wacha tutazame ule uzuri wake uzuri wake ni kwamba wanafunzi wetu wanapata skills na hizi skills zinawasaidia kujitegemea yani mwanafunzi hata maliza university aseme na ngoja kuajiriwa ana skill na anaweza kujiajiri kwa hiyo ni task present na inaweza kusaidia sana pamoja na wanafunzi wetu Asante sana Mwalimu Dickson. Endapo mtu anataka kumleta mtoto wake hapa atafika vipi? Tunapatikana Mombasa, mahali panaitwa Jumvu. Naam. Nyali ndogo. Mhm. Eh nambari zetu za simu ziko hapo chini. Alafu kwa mitandao ya kijamii tunapatikana na Facebook, Sunset eh, Talent Junior Academy tunapata pale. Tuko pale ukiwa na swali lolote, kuna namba zetu pale zote. Uliza swali sisi tuko hapa tutakujibu. Shukrani sana mwalimu Dickson Mongai. Mungu akubariki sana. Umefanya maandalizi mazuri, unaandaa watoto vizuri na imani ya kwamba nitazidi kupa nafasi tena kwenye mitindo ya kipwani. Shukrani karibuni sana. Sisi tuko hapa tunawakaribisha nyote 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 hata wewe mtazamaji. Asante sana. <laughs> mtazamaji huyu ni mwalimu ambaye ni matatari kabisa mwalimu ambaye anafunza art ehe anawafunza watoto hapa Talent Junior Academy ukihitaji kufika hapa basi ile ambayo ziko kwenye runinga yako ya KU TV kwa hivyo mpenzi mtazamaji mimi naomba kuaga tili nikaanza kumumunyaya mabuyu <laughs> ambao nimepewa na watoto ambao wameandaa hapa. Naomba tukutane tena wiki ijayo mpenzi mtazamaji pale ambapo unatufuata pia na kunimina arafa zako. Maoni yako ni muhimu sana kwenye mitindo ya kipwani. Mimina arafa at KUTV Kenya kwenye mitandao yote ya kijamii, at Wawidi Tamu katika mitandao yote ya kijamii, Instagram, Facebook hadi YouTube. Hadi wiki ijayo mpenzi mtazamaji, ni mie na hoda wako huwa linanunukia na kuvutia rangi ya jogo. Ninawika kokoriko. <laughs> kuwa na wakati mwema